Now for the purists of, of highly technical people, uh, here's the, uh, this color chart, uh, what is it called, color card, so you can see how I'm recording. The colors are fairly similar to what it is in reality, not identical, but it's very similar. This green is slightly darker in reality, uh, but so you have an idea what are you going to watch. So this part of the video, I'm not going to uh, color grade at all, <laughs> of course, yeah, okay. Okay, so there are a few differences between uh, Ava Media and Elgato and Elgato PCI and uh, Elgato USB. Now this is HD version, I've got 4K in the computer, so let's discuss it. So first of all, Ava Media uh, gives a little bit brighter picture, just tiny bit. So uh, let's have a look, I have it uh, recorded in, so this is uh, at the top, it's as you can see, it's Elgato. And if I switch it off, this is now Ava Media and look at the background, like in, near the pillow, it's slightly brighter. Here you can see, hopefully, that it's becoming slightly brighter. And now with Elgato also, so look at the colors here, how they change. So the colors change a little bit and have become warmer, I think, with, so this Elgato, this is Ava Media, a little bit warmer, but the difference is marginal and uh, there is a bit of a sharpness difference as well, but that's obviously due to autofocus. I'm sitting a bit closer here. Um, okay, so I did this recording both uh, in OBS and also in the native apps. So I use this RE Central by Ava Media and also, uh, where is it, 4K Capture Utility. Uh, let me open it as well, uh, 4K Capture Utility. And by the way, this RC uh, Central Media, I find it a little bit, mm, not as pleasing as this one. The, the, none of them is kind of great, but I think this one from Elgato is much nicer. Uh, so unfortunately, they will not allow you to use the other uh, capture card. They only you know, allow the usage of their own capture cards. Well. That's okay, that's okay because in OBS we can do both. So uh, it's a brighter picture. Second thing, Ava Media does not allow uh, having a separate uh, audio or audio via HDMI. So if we go to OBS, uh, this, let's say, not this one, um, the other one, where is it? This one. And I go to Ava Media and I want to create, um, and sorry, an audio source, so let's say input capture, uh, not ASIO, audio, audio input capture, and I click OK. There is no, I cannot see AV media, so I see the uh, game capture, so Elgato 4K card, I can see Elgato USB, oh, where is it? Oh, disappeared now. Yes, sorry, this one, yes, the Camlink 4K, that's the USB. So I can have an just audio or audio from, from those ch ch channels, but not from Ava Media, yeah? So I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, what else? Three color formats. Okay, so with Ava Media, I've got a choice of three color formats. So I've got XRGB, and then I've got NV12 and uh, YUY2. And uh, that's, that's okay. Uh, whereas from Elgato, I've got four. Now, for most people, it's not that useful. So we will have these. So which one is extra? Uh, y, V12, this one is extra. So now here's the interesting thing. Both of those cards support XRGB, but the USB one doesn't. So the USB one only has two color options. So let's have a look. Um, so Elgato USB Cam Link. Uh, as you can see, it only has these two, so i420 and nv12. I think they're both 12 bits, that's how they encode. Uh, but remember, the camera gives uh, 8 bits, my camera at least, and many other cameras through HDMI. Uh, so bear that in mind, you know, it's not a big advantage actually. Um, now, there is a difference, there is a bit of an advantage and disadvantage to X, um, XRGB. It gives nicer colors. So let's have a look. If I switch to XRGB, uh, here you go, nicer, brighter colors, but it's a bit choppy. Even though I've got pretty powerful CPU, Ryzen 9 3900, 
and pretty good GPU and they're not spiking, this is a bit choppy and also the delay is now around half a second. Notice when I'm speaking there is like a half a second delay, yeah? Can you, can you see that in the video? I hope you can. Whereas if we go back to, uh, I think it will be NV12, if I choose any it probably switches to NV12. Okay, so now the, the delay is only 100 milliseconds. You won't even notice that because I have also delayed my microphones by 100 milliseconds. Um, so yeah, you could do the same with XRGB, but if you're kind of uh, looking at yourself while recording, that sometimes might be a little bit annoying. Um, now, this is not as good, this picture, as XRGB. Um, I still need to do some post-processing and I mean in both cases I need to do color gradings but with these in particular I need to do a little bit more but that's okay that's okay at least I have no delay so these are the main differences between those uh, those uh, three cards so once again Ava Media three color formats uh, and no separate uh, audio via, via HDMI uh, but it's good the picture is slightly brighter but just marginally so I wouldn't you know uh, make it as a big advantage not at all really you know it's so tiny whereas the the Elgato uh, they do support separate audio or audio via HDMI and also uh, Elgato has got four color formats and uh, Camlink 2 Okay, so I think this wraps it up and um, thank you for watching, take care.